Hi, welcome to part 27 of my 100% Lilith playthrough. Today we're going to be finishing up the Nox DLC and subsequently almost every mission in the entire game. Came over here to Moxie to grab a quest from her, but like I said, as long as I haven't missed anything, once we finish everything here, we will only have one mission left to do, and that's going to be the Underdome on playthrough 1, which we still haven't completed. Doing all three of those arenas doesn't even equal one big challenge, and they're going to be way easier since it's the easiest rounds of each arena anyway, so I'm really not concerned about completing the Underdome again to be honest gonna activate the bridge for the main quest now turn that in make our way to road's end now and do pretty much everything there here are at road's end and there's a big fucking missile there we go and give me a good class mod um no that's not very good can't forget the echo recorders got our first one right here general alfonso Knox. out i wish my middle name was alfonso Oh my, I did not realize the strength held within Alpha Skags. Don't underestimate them. Or maybe Scooter just makes his cars out of macaroni and glue. Got a second Echo Recorder right there. Got a secret mission over here in this little shack. Go ahead and pick up this here transponder. Give us a mission to go around and find Lance chests just hidden around Road's End. I might hold off on doing that mission until it becomes max level. That way I can farm the chests for the mission for pearlescence when I come through Road's End, which I might be doing a lot when I'm farming Nox's armory. I believe it'll scale up to level 60 as long as we don't turn it in when we beat the story of the DLC. Picking up four of them won't impact anything, though. As long as I leave one open, they should all respawn. That's a pretty good class mod. Unfortunately, though, there's no plus four in there, so it's not a perfect one. I can't pick that up. That would be a downgrade. That's about the saddest excuse of a weapon box I've ever seen. All right, here we go. Gonna do the loop loop. Oh, I fucked it up. Thought I could do it first try, but nope. It's gonna take a little bit of practice, just like I did last time. Well, I gotta get out of my car. No! Go do something else for God's sake. You got a whole desert. Leave me the fuck alone. Elemental damage is not the move against drifters. That pro chimera is not putting in too much work. All right, this time we're gonna get it. Uh, nope. There we go. Too easy. Right up here next to it, we also have another stash. You can just see the corner of it sticking up right there. A white SMG and three greens. Oh my god, man. I thought these armory crates were better than that. I really did. As I said, we'll finish up grabbing those crates later. So now I'm just going to head up to the armory, grab the last of the echo recorders, and take out General Knox. And I did it. God damn it. I knew it would happen eventually. Just killed myself at the hive mine. Some things are inevitable. Birds chirp. Bees fly, and I down myself with launchers. This echo is to inform you that I... Maybe it's time you should... Damn, General Knox got cut off by this fucking dumbass. Oh my god, Athena. Don't you have any redeeming qualities? Now that is what I'm talking about. Holy shit. 66% accuracy, 90% damage, plus 4. Oh my, whatever, I'm taking it. Just a massive upgrade on the Spectre class mod. And right there, we got our fifth and final recorder. Ooh, Crimson Shorty. Yeah, they, they stay consistent with the dog shit weapons. Those midgets really do just drop the worst shit in the game. At long last, we've made it to Nox's domain. You see, I've got the double anarchy out right now. I think I'm just going to make it quick and painless for him. Kill all of them. That's the fairest thing to do. What a hard ass, man. A true hero. Let's see how he withstands the double anarchy. I'd expect nothing less from the mighty Nox. With Nox's death, we've gained ourselves another unique weapon, Nox's gold. And they're still spawning enemies. What the fuck? He's been dead, guys. You're a little bit late, okay? There's now nothing between us and the armory. But unfortunately, the armory's only gonna be like level 55, so I'm not too interested in it this time around. Okay. Okay. Blue, yellow, orange, cyan. Fuck. <sighs> Blue, yellow, cyan, orange. Fucking every time, man. Press the button, put the bomb, turn the mission in, alright. None of this loot's gonna be worth anything, but I might as well look around, because I have to wait for the mission to complete anyways. This music is beyond majestic, oh my goodness. Thank goodness everything's under leveled. This was a shitty armory run, I'd be depressed. There it goes. And that has been the General Knox DLC, the main missions anyways. There's nothing left for us in Road's End, so we'll save quit and head right back to T-Bone Junction. There's the main mission, Athena's Wisdom, another unique weapon. I'll put that one on the list as well. And it's level 66, look at that. Marcus and Moxie have both so graciously informed me that they've got more missions for us, so we'll be doing those, turning that side mission, nothing for it though. A few more missions on the bounty board as well. Obviously we got Cromerax, just a normal mission there, and then a uh, Circle of Duty. After the Underdome, I'm sure it'll feel like a walk 
walk in the park, but I still, I, I have bad memories from the circle of duty. Mop up here from Marcus. He just wants us to kill a ton of lands, get that done during the circle of duty. Making my way back to Moxie right now. I have a mission to turn into her as well as one on the way. And then she's got something else for us and we've already got a couple of missions in Roads End that need tending to anyways. One benefit of having the enemy scale up is we're now going to be getting a lot of XP per kill for our proficiency. It's been a long time since those have had any love. Hey, level 68 masher. Six mag though. Finally fought through those lands. Now I can turn the mission in. I saw the class mod there for a brief second. It was blue with only two things on it. So nothing that interests us. Made it to Moxie's place at long last. Now we'll get greeted by all the nice kind individuals that hang out around her bar. Turn the loop mission in. Oh yeah, now we gotta go remove graffiti for her. To be honest with you, Moxie, nothing they write about you could be worse than the things they say about you on a daily basis. But hey, I'll go get rid of it for you. At least it's an easy mission. There's the first one right there. Moxie bitch. Hot, what a classic. If memory serves there's also an invisible oh yeah right there it was an invisible graffiti right there number five i hate when people write invisible insults about me too moxie i guess i can relate there i've already leveled up my sniper rifle proficiency twice oh ran out of ammo guess that's not gonna happen much anymore what i really need to level up is my rocket launchers because if i look at my rocket launchers you can see yeah zero proficiency so suppose it's launcher time Look at that, I got two proficiencies just from that one skag. Cheetah paw right here, definitely need to be stopped. Oh, two of them actually, great. Need to kill 10 of these for a mission I got last episode. There you go, graffiti number three. Oh, Jesus, never mind. Why are you out here? You're waiting to jump me? And he got me. God damn it, man. They had a man waiting. They had an op on the outside making me run all the way over here to the fucking graffiti. Then I gotta run all the way over to a catcher ride. I mean, come on now. That's not just a minor inconvenience. This is a major inconvenience. For a good time, Echo Moxie. That's one of the tamest things I've ever seen anyone say to another human being. Moxie does it with a Jacob as well. Whatever. There's the fourth and final graffiti. Actually, that was our fifth graffiti, but I suppose after you turn the mission in, the one that was invisible just goes away. It doesn't even remember that you did it. So it only shows four completed objectives once it's done. I wonder what that one said that they had to remove it from the game entirely. Turn that one into her, and I believe that's everything she's gonna have for us for the rest of the DLC. Our next mission is in Road's End, so that's exactly where we're gonna go. No shortage of alpha skags over here at this lance chest. Luckily, our crux puts in amazing work against them. What do we got? Oh, for God's sake, man. A white repeater and a white revolver. What is what is it with these chests? Made it over to the lever we need to pick up for the mission. Now to go jam it into the socket, ride a fucking gondola for some reason, and place a bug. Boom, baby. At first, I was kind of sad the enemies were going to be harder to kill now, but now I'm just grateful that we're getting XP and actually getting our things leveled up. Here's the gondola of which I spoke. Oh my goodness, my car is getting jiggy with it. Shaking it like there's no tomorrow, goddamn. There's a mighty amount of lance up this hill, I tell you what. I feel like I'm in a Call of Duty campaign mission right now because of how this place is laid out. The bug has been placed. Normally I'd just save quit, but I forgot to kill Cromrax. Of course we have a mission to kill Cromrax again, so I might as well get that out of the way while we're here. With no holds barred and on equal footing, I believe I can absolutely shit stomp Cromrax using our double anarchy. Now we enter the Beast Slayer. Here's the setup, got the crux for the armored worms, got the Orion for the Craw Maggots, got the Hellfire for the Green Worms, got the Steel Anarchy for Craw himself, finally got the Mercenary Class mod with Ammo Regen, and just the HP Boost Shield. The only thing that's holding us back now is my own abilities. There he is. Alright, music kicked on. Time to take this seriously. As you can see, great damage by the double anarchy. Hoping to break that middle eyeball. I did not, and unfortunately I was hit. The best strategy is always to play around with these two rocks. Hopefully I can get one of these left claws. There we go, got one. Probably need to go for a second wind here. I don't have any phase walk. Yep, that's okay though. We call this a strategical second wind. There it goes. I'm actually stuck inside of this crawl magnet right now and I cannot leave. A bit unfortunate. Just need to switch over to my Orion. Oh, it looks like he can't hit me either. Too bad, so sad. Crawl is getting awful close there. Another arm gone. Holy shit, I never realized just how big those armored crab worms are. Long boys. For some reason he's roaring at me. That's his last mistake. No more arms. I only need your back now. Cromrax dead on our first run. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. Pretty bad Volcano. Average Draco. We got an Unforgiven right here. Oh, uh, just a normal Unforgiven, unfortunately. Static Thanatos. Uh, I would pick that up if the fire rate was a bit better. Hornet in the rock right there. Nothing good in terms of loot, but that's all right. Got the mission done. That's all we came here for. Now we'll save quit. Back at the bounty board now. Turn that one in, and we'll turn in Bugged. That's the one we did where we had to ride the gondola. On my way to the Sunken Sea now. Got a couple missions to do there. Got to kill Skyscraper. Also, the 
the circle of duty but before we even get there there's two missions on our way one is to kill cryos and typhon as we have selected right now the other is to grab scooter's destruct module i apologize if i called kairos cryos i do that sometimes but it's kairos i believe that's who we have right up here is this kairos yes it is kairos he's got the kairos power sniper rifle on him that's the unique we're looking for seems that he is actually immune to he just one-shot me. Wow. Okay, Kairos, that is impressive, I must say. What is he not immune to, though? Probably shock. Is he weak to shock? Okay, I don't know what I killed, but it wasn't him. I guess I had something affected by elemental damage. I'll take it. What is wrong with you, man? Do I really need to pull the double anarchy out on you? I don't want to have to do that, but I will. You asked for it. You really did. Good day. Behold, the Kairos power. Pick that one up and mark it on the list. Oh, come on. Don't tell me I'm stuck here. All I did was run into it. Give me a break, video game. Finally got a new car and Scooter's part is just up here on the table. Snag that and get the hell out of here. Oh, I was almost fucking Mario Karting through this bitch. Come on now. No, 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 no. I'm stuck. I can't run one over. I'll die or I can't do anything or I'll die. Come on, baby. Make it out. Holy shit. Typhon. There he is. Typhon, I don't think you're acid resistant, are you? You don't seem like you are. No, not at all. Well, goodbye, Typhon. Yep. Okay. A blast protector out of the chest right there. Uh, I think I'm good on that. Got right here the Typhoon SMG. Another unique. Put it on the list. To the sunken sea. First thing on our agenda here is to take out Skyscraper. He patrols just under this highway. The double anarchy. Hey, what's up, guys? Oh, that wasn't the boss there. That was a normal one. This is the boss. Hey, man. Oh, I'm sorry. I must be mistaken. I wonder where Sky... You. What was I doing? What was I doing when I just got downed by this right here? I was talking shit. Never do it. Never talk shit. Our mission log is on the cusp of completion. We have core collection and mop up, which we can get done in tandem with circle of duty as soon as we go do it. Then right after that, all we got to do is kill one single bandit patrol. And I think we've got everything except for the missions we don't want to turn in completed. I suppose there's only one thing left to do, and that's to take it to the circle of duty. Not looking forward to more wave based mob combat, but hey, what can you do? You know, it's border lands one here we are circle of duty Alrighty, zach i'm back again for another round of punishment i want so badly to be able to use my crux in here but every third lance is a chemical trooper so that is just not an option basically if i want to kill enemies efficiently i got to use non-elemental weapons one more yeah, there we go got the first wave completed looks like one of the badass lance we killed dropped an equalizer pretty cool but i'm not gonna take it turn that in now we got round two high corrosive resistant shield well you really shouldn't have zach all right i'm just gonna finish this place up and i'll see you guys at the end of it i think there's been plenty of lance killing on the channel these past few episodes no fucking way dude fell right onto the car and died instantly i didn't even realize it spawned in now i get to restart it already getting under dome flashbacks fuck you automobile aha okay for fuck's sake round three is finally over turn in oh my goodness man what you call that a fucking class mod i don't even understand how you can get only one skill on a level 55 class mod that is historically bad zachary my goodness this is the fourth and i believe the final round so thank god for that my frames are nearly non-existent at this point i think we're getting close to the end at the very least no way anything anything no i should have just not done this man i should have just saved it for a different episode i don't know why i came back here after doing the underdome i'm just reopening the wounds that i haven't healed yet oh my god now i get to sit here for another god knows how long they just it's just ludicrous the amount of enemies they send it's even worse than the underdome here the enemies are all brain dead easy but there's so many of them you literally get suffocated by the bodies Oh my god, it's finally over. Now I'll go around and collect the last few cores I need to complete the mission and we'll get the fuck out of this place. And I think this is the final core. Yep, done with that mission too. Now we just have one more bandit patrol to finish off and we can get back to T-Bone with almost nothing left to do. Wait, oh my god, there's another wave, dude. I can't believe anybody in the entire design team played through this whole thing and thought, yeah, we need five waves of that. Holy shit, man, you've already got like 16 other arenas why why do we need to fight so many mobs borderlands that's finally the end i'm done with all this shit i'm gonna go kill a car and get back to t-bone right now double fucking thumper someone ought to kill you zach you're lucky i can't there you go fuck you cheetah paw
Turn that into Scooter. Turn that one into Athena. She's gonna give us part two for that now. We gotta go kill Ajax. Road Rage and Drifter Lifter. Turn those in. No rewards for any of that, by the way. What a goddamn joke. Turn these two into Marcus. Now we got Super Marcus Sweep. That's going to be our ticket into the armory. That way we'll be able to farm for our pearlescent. And with that, I'm going to go ahead and end this episode. Thank you very much for watching. If you liked it, please leave a like. If you disliked it, please leave a dislike. I'll go over today's progress. First, a quick look at the proficiencies. Definitely getting up there. Got a few unique weapons this episode. Athena's Wisdom, Kairos Power, Typhoon, and Nox's Gold. We've now completed 211 missions on our second playthrough, bringing our total up to 422 out of 4. 432 total missions. Got a few less done this episode than I anticipated, but that's alright. Still an absolutely amazing episode in terms of completion. The challenge log is pretty much the same, and there weren't any achievements, so that's going to be everything. Once again, thank you so much for watching, and I hope I'll see you on the next one. Have a great day.